guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin. If you're new, I'm going to be vlogging this weekend. It's actually Thursday, um, the day before the Friday to the Labor Day weekend. Um, I've just been really enjoying vlogging lately, so I thought I would take you guys along with me. Tonight is actually my boyfriend Nick's birthday, so we're going to go out to dinner. We're trying out this Argentine steakhouse called Gaucho Perea. Um, it's in Pittsburgh. He's been there before. He loves it. It's one of his favorite restaurants. I've never been there, so I'm really excited to check it out. They say they have really good steaks and... Um, that's basically what they're known for, so that's probably what I'll get. Tomorrow I'm going to go shopping after work, so I thought that'd be fun to take you guys along with me on that. And then Saturday we have plans to go to a winery, so it's going to be a busy and fun weekend. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I make a lot of different kinds of videos on this channel. Um, a lot of like lifestyle and product and beauty reviews, like products empties, favorites, um, skincare reviews, and then I also do some travel vlogs. I've been on a lot of trips recently, so if you like this content here, be sure to check out some of my recent travel vlogs, including when I went to Seattle. But here are the presents for him. I got him a bunch of different things in these two bags. I got him some K-cups, a mug, clothes, and cologne. We have this thing where we like get each other um, different mugs with like sayings about our jobs on them. <laughs> he got me for my birthday this stemless wine glass that said because spreadsheets. So that was pretty funny. Mine is not as good for him this time, but um, I tried my best. That was a hard one to follow up. Anyway, let me show you guys a little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this um, floral dress from American Eagle. It's like a baby doll style. I really like how... Um, the cut is, it's black with like red and orange and white flowers. Today is September 2nd, so we're officially in pumpkin season in my opinion. And I think it's acceptable to wear fall clothes, especially in PA. It was like in the 50s this morning, so I think we can transition over into fall. Typically, I'm a big summer gal and I hate when summer ends, but for some reason this year, I'm super, super excited for fall. Like I just can't wait to go to pumpkin patches and like drink apple cider. And I've already had like five pumpkin cold brews. It's kind of embarrassing. We also have our fall candle going here at autumn. I love this scent, it smells like apples and leaves. Yeah, so that was just a little update on my day so far. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some jewelry and then head out. I made an old man. Story. He took out a notepad and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear. Like smoke, and I thought I'd just seen a ghost. Then I looked down at what he wrote. It said, Son, when you grow up, you'll be fine. I know you've got questions on your mind. you guys I just woke up made some coffee I'm gonna wash my face brush my teeth and then start the work day um, last night was absolutely incredible I don't even like steak that much and this steak was the best steak I've ever had in my entire life I finally understand why people say chef's kiss now because that meal was just chef's kiss it was so so good I always get my steak like well done at the steakhouses like Outback or whatever. Um, I know, judge me, judge me so hard, I know. But I'm not kidding you, that steak was so tender. It was so well seasoned, it was so well cooked. I would have definitely gotten like a medium well just because I like trusted it so much. And I feel like when you go to like Outback or somewhere like that, 
your steak is never actually well done. Like it still has red in it, which is why I feel comfortable saying that. But this steak was just uh, chef's kiss. It was so good. Cannot recommend it enough. But anyway, it's Friday. Definitely have a slower day today um, before the long holiday weekend, which I'm excited about. Um, I don't have any meetings, so I'm just gonna prep for a new audit that I start next week um, and finish one little thing for a program that's due today. So overall, it shouldn't be a bad day at all. I'm gonna go shopping after work, maybe get some Starbies during lunch, but we'll see where the day takes us. So it is lunchtime, I'm back home. I got my pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbies. It just tastes magical. I always get three pumps of vanilla instead of two uh, because I feel like you can't really taste the vanilla and the pumpkin just kind of overpowers it. Well, I'm <laughs> looking so rough. Good thing I don't have any um, like video calls today. We rarely ever have video calls though on my team. Um, but actually I heard that we're getting like dismissed early today for Labor Day. So I think I only have to stay on my computer until like two. So I'm super pumped about that. It turned out to be a really nice day. It's like gorgeous out, super sunny. So I definitely want to head out and go to the mall later on. I don't know when this happened, but apparently drinking coffee, getting coffee has become my only personality trait. So I'm sorry. So it is much later. I got ready, clearly. Um, we did get an early dismissal, so yay for bank holidays. But if you've made it this far in the video, I wanted to talk about a giveaway that I'm doing. I'm going to be giving away this Too Faced um, Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. I already have one of these, and I received this palette as a gift for my birthday. So instead of donating it or just not using it, I thought I would give it away to you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and state the giveaway rules right here. First, you must be a U.S. resident at least 18 years of age <laughs> to win. I feel like I'm in a commercial or something. Um, just because the shipping out of the U.S. is just exorbitant, so um, you have to be a U.S. resident. Then you must subscribe to this channel. Your subscriptions must be public and... Then I want you to leave a comment and say what is the main reason that you watch on YouTube? What is your favorite thing to watch? Um, not just my content, but any content in general. Like, do you like vlogs? If so, do you like travel vlogs? More of a daily vlog? Um, do you like sit down videos, makeup reviews? Do you like hauls? Like, what's your favorite thing to watch? For me personally, I like travel vlogs the best. And then I would say I like like hauls or fashion videos but let me know what your favorite thing is to watch. Um, and so then after you've commented and subscribed, leave your Instagram handle so I can contact you and then make sure you're following my Instagram, which will be linked in the description box. So really simple, just subscribe here, follow me on YouTube and leave a comment. Best of luck. I'm super excited. I haven't done a giveaway in a hot minute. But I'm already now and I'm free from work, so I think I'm going to head to the mall. I really don't want to buy anything except for some jeans at Forever 21. I want like a baggier mom style or like boyfriend style loose fitted jean um, to keep up with Gen Z. I have another pair of jeans from Forever 21 and I really, really like them, but they're more of a straight leg and they're pretty fitted. But like I said, I really like them and Forever 21 has some really affordable and comfy jeans. So hopefully I can find what I'm looking for and not buy anything else because I really don't need any more clothes. I have made it to the mall. It was kind of a crazy drive. I don't know why, but there were so many like crazy people like cutting me off, cutting other people off, just like pulling out, just like lots of craziness. For this Labor Day weekend. Um, but yeah, I made it to the mall. I actually stopped at Chick-fil-A too and got some mac and cheese and a spicy chicken sandwich. I actually got the chicken sandwich for free. So if you don't use the app and get the rewards, what are you doing? Um, you earn like tons of rewards and like half the time your meal is like partially free. So super cool. I've actually never had the mac and cheese and I was pleasantly surprised with it. I thought it was really good. 
Um, Nick wasn't the biggest fan of it whenever he had it before, so I was kind of expecting it to be kind of gross, but I actually really enjoyed it. Anyway, I made it to the mall and I'm going to go look for some jeans, maybe peek in Bath and Body Works, and um, we'll see if I can find any good deals, but I really just want the jeans. like an epic fail they hardly had any jeans at forever 21 hardly any in my size so i didn't buy the jeans i went to express and nothing really caught my eye in express either i went to windsor they were having this really big sale like a lot of items were seven dollars but again i didn't really like anything that much so nothing really caught my eye except in target target had tons of cute fall clothes they had really cute sweaters but I was like, Caitlin, you don't need any sweaters. It's only September. You have so many sweaters from last year. So I didn't pick anything up, which I'm proud of myself. I did buy a couple things in Target. Like I bought some snacks and some cleaning supplies, but nothing exciting. The one very exciting moment was I did decide to try the iced matcha lemonade. And it's so good. I know I made a face at first, but that's because it wasn't like mixed up at the at the top and I got like this like really strong taste of matcha but this was so so good um I've never had matcha before and I was like I really want some caffeine but I've already had like two coffees today and I really didn't want to get another Starbucks either um I really wanted like a juice or something like fresh so I was like all right I'll try the matcha and I am like so pleased with this it's really good and I don't typically like tea so I had no idea if I was going to like this at all but I decided to play it safe and get the lemonade one and I feel like that gives it like the perfect amount of sweetness. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea just wanna say that I feel that our love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. It is Saturday. It's a little bit later. You guys probably saw me do a workout this morning. That was like the best workout I've done in a hot minute. I don't know if it was the matcha yesterday or if I'm finally on like a regular sleep schedule um, from when we went to Seattle two weeks ago, but I felt so strong. I did a 30 minute run, did some abs and just really felt good about my workout. Um, I had some lunch, I showered, I got ready, and tonight we're going to go to the winery. It's in the North Hills of Pittsburgh. It's called Narcissi, so I've actually never been there and neither has Nick, so we're excited to try it out. I'm a big fan of like drier red wines. I like some white wines, but they have to be pretty dry. Anyway, I curled my hair, did my makeup, and let me show you my outfit. It is from Amazon. It's just this green and white polka dotted dress. It has a little tie, kind of like this sweetheart style neckline and kind of cinched at the waist. I actually bought it for the Savannah trip, but I ended up not wearing it. It just feels like very dainty to me and I don't love it. I think it's a sweetheart style like neckline. I'm not a big fan of this look on me personally, um, but it is a pretty flattering dress and it's cute. But I just, for some reason, I didn't wear it to Savannah. And then in Seattle, it was kind of too cold to wear it. So I figured I might as well wear it like one more time before the summer is over. 
but I packed up uh, my overnight bag because I'm gonna stay overnight and then tomorrow we're gonna go get brunch somewhere in the city maybe the Abbey in Lawrenceville or um, or the Urban Tap in Shadyside. Those are two of our favorite brunch places. Um, the Urban Tap has really, really good both um, brunch foods and dinner. They also have like a really good cocktail menu if you go there for dinner. And the Abbey is just super cute. It's like an old Abbey that they turned into a restaurant. And if you sit outside, there's a fountain. So we love both of those places. Um, but tonight we're gonna go to Narcissi, it's out of the city, and we're gonna drink some wine, maybe get some pizza. I think they have a pretty Italian-based menu, which I'm excited because your girl loves Italian food. But yeah, I'm gonna pack up my car, grab a water, and then head out. I made it to my boyfriend's, I'm in the parking garage now. I'm telling you, if you can drive in downtown Pittsburgh, you can drive anywhere. Um, I decided to like take a different route today because they're doing construction on this one bridge and it just like took me forever to get here the last time I came in to the city. Um, but going this other way, there's like crazy merges and uh, the merges are all like really short and everything. So it's just, it's absolutely crazy and terrifying like how you only have like 500 feet to like cross three lanes and get where you need to go. So absolutely insanity but anyway i'm here um i'm a little bit early so i'm just gonna wait in my car for like another five minutes one of my biggest pet peeves is when people show up like too early to your house or apartment or whatever i think that's rude and i think you should only be within like five minutes early like if possible so i'm actually here like 15 minutes early so i'm definitely gonna give it another few minutes before I go in and see him. Also, while I wait here, I wanna talk about the lipstick that I'm wearing. It's by Revlon and it's made with hyaluronic acid. It's so moisturizing, it lasts so long, it was so affordable, and I'm wearing the color Wine With Everything, which I think is appropriate to go to a winery, but um, I just love this. I got mine at Ulta, so if you're in the market for a new lipstick that actually hydrates your lips, I highly suggest checking this one out. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden Golden, golden things So we are here at Narcissi, <laughs> I'm here with my favorite person <laughs> we had the most amazing dinner. It was so good. We had some meatballs as an appetizer. We had some bread with this delicious dipping oil. It was like this tomato, olive oil, and parmesan blend. We had some wine. And what did you yeah. have? Oh my god, I forgot now. I had a Niagara and a Bolognese. It was wonderful. Yes, and I had some pizza, but I didn't eat too much of it because I was so stuffed. But it's really pretty. There are like lights and little like fires, and we're just having a great time. I actually switched to a Pinot Grigio, and I'm gonna do a taste test right here. Oh my god, it's so good, it's so dry. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, we're just going to enjoy our night and just chill here. <laughs> just got brunch at Urban Tap. It was so good. I couldn't finish it all. They give you such big portions, but I had some bacon and some potatoes and some toast. It was mm, chef's kiss. The winery last night was also amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. It's such a really, such a nice ambiance. It um, has like this pretty fountain and the food was divine. The meatballs were my favorite. They were so good. The pizza was good, definitely not the best pizza I ever had, but if you go there, get the meatballs, they're delicious. Um, but yeah, it's around noon and I'm gonna drive home. My little brother is actually home from college, so 
Um, I haven't seen him in a couple weeks, so I'm excited to see him. And I'm gonna go home, take a shower, just kind of hang out with my family and have a pretty relaxing day. So I'm back home and I figured I would do an unboxing for you guys. I got a couple things. I got a Sephora package and then also a Nespresso package. So first up from Nespresso, we have a sleeve of the Bianco Forte. This is the dark roast, really smooth, really balanced, um, not too flavorful. So it's a pretty plain tasting coffee, but I absolutely love it. I also got two sleeves of the Stormio. I believe this is a medium roast. It tastes pretty similar to the Bianco Forte, but I would say a little bit less strong. So yeah, I got two of these. I was like running so low on my Nespresso pods. I also got this descaling kit because my little like red blinky light has been on for like literally the last two months. And I tried to descale it with just water because I read online that you could do that but the light won't go away. So I feel like that's either not the case or I'm not doing it right. So I bought this directly from Nespresso. I thought about getting it from Amazon, but the Amazon ones didn't have good reviews. Like some people were saying it wasn't legit. So I figured I would just buy that directly from Nespresso. It wasn't expensive. I think it was like $8.99 or so for that. And I guess you ha you get two of them. So that's nice. And then if you order directly from Nespresso, you also get um, like two free pods and I have the virtual line so I actually got the espresso pods which I typically don't make espresso I typically do the coffees um so I've never had either of these it's double espresso scuro and double espresso chiro I'm probably really butchering that but they look like this they look pretty so maybe I will make a latte sometime this week And then from Sephora, I just got an old favorite, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I wear the shade 1 and 2 ECRU. I'm running low on my current double wear, so I figured I would pick one up just to be on the safe side because I literally cannot live without that foundation. And then as far as samples goes, I got the Nest New York Turkish, Turkish Rose. I love trying out fragrances. And then I got the Ola Hendrickson Banana Eye Brightening Cream. And then I also got the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the color Callback Cream. So that looks pretty. But anyway, that's my unboxing. I think I'm going to end off the vlog here. I think we have enough footage. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Um, if you have any questions about it, just refer back to this video or um, ask me in a question in a comment or on Instagram. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.